CVA's Acura Series, Vergara Barrels for guaranteed accuracy, Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being brought to you by Third Regiment Game Calls. Friends, family, and faith in the outdoors. One call at a time. All right, everybody, this week's Pictures of the Week is being sponsored by our friends over at Flowers Garden Center and Deer Processing. You guys can go down there now. The doors are open. You can get down there, drop off your deer, and get some snack sticks, smoked bologna, bacon, whatever it is you want. You can get it all made into burger meat if that's your prerogative. But be sure to tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. All right, our first picture here. You guys have seen this gentleman here on the show with me. This is Garrett Tucker, and Anthony. He he shoots a good deer every year, every at year. least one. You know, I think his woman and, shot uh, a good one too. I, she did. She tried to show him up. This yeah, year. I, I couldn't find her picture. I'd have got it on yeah, here with, yeah. with him. But uh, congratulations on that one, Garrett. That's a nice deer, man. You, sure, you've was. done it again. All right, our next picture. This is my buddy Bill Hart, and this is another nice bass that he caught. And uh, he shared that with us. We appreciate that, Bill. And we've still got to get out in the boat together. We hadn't got to do that. We tried to do it this year, and a bunch of stuff happened. We need to make that happen, buddy. And I know y'all know this young man here. This is Devin Faircloth. And I've been holding on to this one for a few weeks, but back on the velvet hunt, Devin got his first velvet deer this year. So congratulations on that one. And here on the end, this is Wally Kilpatrick. And while he's with Yankum Custom Tackle, and this is a nice fish that he caught fishing Dale Hollow Lake. He's nice usually a Chickamauga man. guy, but he's been up there at Dale Hollow knocking around with Bobby Gentry and those guys. And, and uh, I think he's turned to love Dale Hollow as much as he does Chickamauga. So congratulations on that one, Wally. Y'all can send your pictures to us here at 474 James Robertson Parkway. Or get them to me on Facebook or at the email on the screen there, and we'll get them on the show just as quick as we can. All right, welcome back to the studio. Uh, Anthony, we were talking just before we took off. We were, we were kind of hitting a little bit at the fact that deer, bucks in particular, they're really starting to change their demeanor. Um, these cold fronts, well, the way I've always hunted or been most successful, successful usually is hunting fronts. I mean, yep. I like a, a cold front, obviously, like anybody. I like a light rain front, a misty rain in November top you know top condition yes. give me that i'll take it all day long um but this front that's pushing in here right now it's going to give us a high of around i think 60 tomorrow somewhere yep. in that ballpark right. it's going to be the high the deer at my place and i'm sure yours probably did the same man it was just like a switch went off i mean this afternoon they were absolutely running by every camera but what they're doing is those does they're just they're in regular eat 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 That's right. mode. they're they're eating uh they know that the rut's coming on they're eating getting ready for it um the bucks however i mean they're starting to show signs we're finding scrapes yeah but yeah we've been finding scrapes two weeks at home Brad. yeah i mean it's not just the little bit of you know basketball i'm talking <laughs> yeah, that I mean, size. they got the memo this year, didn't yes, they? I mean, they sure it, did. What I think a lot's going on is the last few years, and, and obviously it trends back and forth here in Tennessee, but it's been a lot warmer this time of year right now. And this year we've had, I mean, we've had 80-degree days, even this week. Yeah. But we're starting to get these Seems cold like we're going to have a real fall this year we compared are. to what we, you know, last several years, I mean, It'd be opening day of rifle season. You still have green oak leaves on the yeah. trees. Then all of a sudden, it's like one night they just all fall yeah. off, and that's it. You know, yeah. they're already falling out. All the time. Yeah, and they're changing. Those colors yes. are getting pretty, and things yeah. are changing. But you know, I, I think over the this weekend, number one is going to be, it's going to be a prime weekend. Saturday morning is going to be a good time yep. to be in a deer stand. And after that front's gone through, those, you know, you get that next bluebird day after that front, and that afternoon when that wind lies down. I'm telling you, if you're on a food source, yeah. those things will funnel in there. And for, for some of y'all, and I, I see it on Facebook, and, and I get a lot of messages every day. People's asking me, said, you know, wh where are all my bucks at right now? So I'm seeing plenty of does. And I said, well, you're sitting in the catbird seat because if you're where the does are, I can promise you those bucks are coming. They're, they're nearby there somewhere. Yeah. Um, what I've noticed is they're coming in, like this afternoon was a prime example. Uh, I probably watched does feed on the camera for 30, 45 minutes. 
all of a sudden I get a picture of all my does and tails are scattering yep. and everything and there there he is you know uh, they're coming in and out checking does on food sources right sure now uh, they may not find what they're looking for just yet but they're checking yeah they're looking they're checking and uh, the, he's coming in there checking that field he don't see what he wants he'll yep. move on right. go on down he'll check the next one um, but he you know they've they split up not that there's no more bucks running together but I've noticed over just the last couple of weeks, you know, it's gone from five or six together to, to two, two or three, or three together. That's right. I have to. Um, and now I'm starting to get solo deer, especially our more mature ones. They're, yep. they're starting to run around solo. Uh, so that's kind of how things are changing right now. It's it's time to to really start focusing on where the does are. If you've what about got, the acorns like, you know, got does, here, you got them. You know, our acorns did pretty good. It wasn't just a stellar year, but it was pretty good in most of the activity we've had feed wise the three weeks prior to now have been on the acorns yes. they've really been on the acorns hard um it's just been the last few days that these does have seemed to want to start hitting the green again yeah. well, um there's still plenty but they've you know, been burning the green fields they so. have and now y'all had a good acorn croppers yeah we, we did but but you know it seemed like a big chunk of our acorns fell about a month ago. I guess because it was so dry, yeah. that's you know, Mother Nature's way of yeah. saving the tree. They'll drop those acorns. But, um, but I mean, they're still wearing the green plots out. I mean, I, the other afternoon, I saw 50. That's the most I've ever seen in one set, 14 different bucks. Yeah. That's the day Duck was with me. Yeah. Duck went with me that day, and we said, and he was blowed away. Yeah, they're really starting to get out there and do it, and that, and that's exciting times, you know. I mean, yes. that's that's what's coming on. We're looking. We're only just a couple of weeks out right now from juvenile hunt. I mean, yep. things seem to happen so quick. You wait all year, and then it's like here it is, it sure you know. Is. And uh, yep. uh, so juvenile in a couple of weeks, muzzleloaders in about three and a half weeks now, four weeks. So yeah, which is rifle we're for us. Right along, rifle for you guys. But so the juveniles right this into year, it. I'm telling you, you and I talked about it in the parking lot a while ago. Juvenile season or to be gangbusters this year? I think it's going to be. On, I mean, I think a lot of years it uh, it ends up just being the perfect storm. Yes, you know? it sure and does. And this year, you're, I think you're going to have more youth hunting, just like you got more people hunting right. in general. Just, just, um, it's been that way all year. I guess since so, COVID nineteen. I mean, everybody. I don't know. Like it's it's almost season. like someone just decided to set back. I mean, I mean, not no fault of their own, but. And they're finally getting back in the woods and in the boats yeah. and enjoying life. Man, you know, it, there's, you got to look at the good that comes out that's of anything. Exactly so that's right. been a good thing. Yes. Well, let's go on over and do this week's product of the week. This week's product of the week is being sponsored by Caney Fork Outdoors. You guys can find them at cfoutdoors.com or get off at the Center Hill Dam exit and go to the bottom of the hill and take a right. You'll find them at the Big Rock Market. Stop in there and let them get you outfitted with all your kayaking needs and get you a good lunch while you're there too. And tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. Anthony, I've got some pretty neat baits here with I you tonight. Know you man. Do. <laughs> uh, get these up where everybody can see them. These are Driftwood custom baits. And Driftwood, I want to go ahead and tell them thank you right now. They work with, with Bass Nation. They, they really help out the high school anglers. Uh, and you know that's a big deal to us. But you can find Driftwood on Facebook. They have a Facebook page. Or you can go to driftwoodcustombaits.com. Now, this is the 5 inch GTO swim bait right here. And uh, you know what's the most special about these two right here, Anthony? Anthony? What's that? Here in just a little while, we're going to give them away to somebody. So somebody's going to get these swim baits tonight. But this, I mean, truly, this is one of the most realistic swim baits. It sure I, is. Uh, as far as just the eyes in these things and the way that they that they, they run. But in the end of the fourth segment, we're going to give these away. So somebody's going to take home both these packs. Uh, at it's the just end of a big four. striper waiting to swallow the them things. The big striper is waiting to eat that or thing big up bass right there. Too, a big bass, matter. either one. But again, that's driftwoodcustombaits.com. Go over and check them out and tell them thank you for uh, helping out the Bass Nation the way they do because that's a big deal to us. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to open the phone lines for you, and we'll have some more Southern Woods and Waters.